NASA is celebrating after a mission that's simply out of this world. NASA's historic unearthing of the largest asteroid sample ever collected has brought forth startling results. The sample, retrieved from Bennu, a potentially hazardous asteroid, offers a rare glimpse into the early solar system. This discovery raises pressing questions. How did this additional material get into a sealed container? What is the nature of the mysterious black dust? And most importantly, what secrets about the universe and potential Earth impacts will this largest asteroid sample reveal? The Osiris Rex On September 26, 2023, scientists at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston opened the Osiris Rex mission's return canister, only to be met with an unexpected sight, a layer of black dust and debris weighing 100 grams more than the collected sample from Bennu. The startling discovery isn't just historic, but rather has significant consequences for the future. Bennu, with its origins dating back over 4.5 billion years, is a carbonaceous asteroid, rich in organic compounds and water-bearing minerals. This composition makes it an ideal subject for studying the primordial matter that helped shape our solar system. As a near-Earth object, Bennu also holds critical information about the potential hazards asteroids pose to our planet. Understanding Bennu's path helps refine predictions for other asteroids, enhancing our preparedness for planetary defense. On September 8, 2016, the Osiris-Rex mission began its ambitious journey. Launched from Earth, its destination was none other than Bennu, a destination millions of miles away in the depths of space. But what was the mission aiming to achieve? The primary goal was to collect a sample from Bennu's surface. This was no ordinary task. The mission sought to gather pristine material, untouched for billions of years, to help scientists unlock the secrets of our solar system's infancy. Asteroid characterization was the next goal. It's like getting to know a new neighbor, but in space. The mission mapped Bennu's surface, analyzed its composition, and even assessed its potential for future space exploration. Finally, the mission tackled an objective that hit close to home, which was Earth's impact hazard assessment. Bennu's orbit brings it close to Earth, raising questions about potential future impacts. By studying Bennu, NASA aimed to learn more about these hazards, contributing crucial data to safeguard our planet. Journey to Bennu launched on September 8, 2016. This spacecraft embarked on a daring mission to an asteroid millions of miles from Earth. After a two-year, four-month voyage covering an astonishing 1.4 billion miles, OSIRIS-REx finally reached its destination on December 3, 2018. The arrival at Bennu marked not just a significant milestone for the mission, but also for our understanding of space as a whole. Upon reaching Bennu, the team faced the challenging task of selecting a site for sample collection. This was a meticulous process involving extensive mapping of the asteroid's surface. The goal was to find a location that was not only rich in scientific value, but also safe for the spacecraft's operation. After careful consideration, a site named Nightingale was chosen. However, the small size of the site, along with the rugged terrain surrounding it, posed a significant challenge. The precision required for the spacecraft to touch down in this area was unprecedented. To ensure accuracy, the OSIRIS-REx team utilized technology such as a new navigation technique called Natural Feature Tracking and the Touch-and-Go Sample Acquisition Mechanism, which would be crucial for the success of this mission, Touch-and-Go Sample Acquisition Mechanism. The mission's centerpiece, the touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism, was ingeniously engineered to work in an environment where traditional collection methods were not feasible. The arm, about 11 feet in length, was equipped with a round sampler head that functioned much like a reverse vacuum cleaner. As it made contact with Bennu's surface, the release of a burst of compressed nitrogen gas enabled the collection of surface material. This innovative approach ensured that even the smallest particles could be captured efficiently. 
The design of touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism also accounted for the unpredictable nature of Bennu's surface. It was built to adapt to various textures, from fine grains to small pebbles, ensuring a successful collection regardless of the surface conditions. The mechanism included sensors to confirm the successful contact and collection of the sample, sending critical data back to Earth in real time. However, the sample collection, conducted on October 20, 2020, presented unforeseen challenges. The brief nine-second contact with Bennu's surface was more successful than anticipated, with touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism, collecting approximately 300 grams of material far exceeding NASA's expectations. But this success brought its own complications. Some material began escaping the collection chamber due to a jammed flap caused by larger rocks preventing it from closing properly. To mitigate the loss of precious samples, the team made a swift decision to forego further measurements and seal the sample for its journey back to Earth. The return trip was as critical as the journey out. OSIRIS-REx embarked on its homeward journey on May 10, 2021. After a long voyage, the spacecraft finally reached Earth's vicinity on September 24, 2023. The sample capsule then made a dramatic re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, deploying a parachute for its descent and landing safely at the Utah Test and Training Range. Here, NASA personnel were ready and waiting for its recovery. The Surprise Discovery On September 26, as they carefully opened the sample return canister from the OSIRIS-REx mission, a discovery awaited the scientists that was as unexpected as it was intriguing. As the lid of the canister was lifted, the first thing that caught the scientists' eyes was a layer of black dust and debris. But the surprises didn't end there. The sample, meticulously collected from Bennu, weighed in at 100 grams more than the initial collection. This additional weight was a puzzle, considering the sample had been sealed and safeguarded throughout its voyage back to Earth. The presence of this mysterious black dust and the extra weight sparked a series of speculations and investigations. One possible explanation for the additional material was that during the spacecraft's brief contact with Bennu, a shockwave might have been generated, powerful enough to propel material into space. This material could have then followed OSIRIS-REx on its retreat from Bennu, clinging to the spacecraft's exterior surfaces. Further adding to this theory, it's believed that some of this cosmic dust and debris might have found its way into the sample canister through the small openings created by the jammed flap. This incident would explain not only the unexpected extra weight, but also the presence of the black dust inside the canister. This discovery, while initially puzzling, carries significant implications. The additional material, likely a mixture of asteroidal particles and debris from the collection process, offers an even richer sample of Bennu than anticipated. The black dust itself, a seemingly minor detail, might hold clues to the surface processes on Bennu, shedding light on the asteroid's history and composition. This surprise discovery underscores the unpredictable nature of space exploration and the endless surprises that the cosmos has in store. The Importance of Asteroid Studies The study of asteroids, particularly those like Bennu, are crucial for space exploration. Asteroids like Bennu are essentially time capsules, preserving the conditions and materials of the solar system's infancy. By studying them, Scientists can piece together the history and evolution of our solar system, offering insights into the processes that shape the planets and possibly even life itself. The implications of this discovery are profound. If life's building blocks can be traced back to asteroids, it would mean that the ingredients for life are not unique to Earth. This raises the tantalizing possibility that life, in some form, might exist elsewhere in the universe, or at the very least, the conditions for life are more widespread than previously thought. The study of asteroids also helps scientists understand the distribution of organic materials in the solar system. By analyzing the composition of asteroids like Bennu, 
Researchers can determine how these materials are spread across different celestial bodies. This, in turn, provides a clearer picture of the solar system's early chemical environment and how it might have influenced the development of life on Earth. Studying asteroids like Bennu is not just about satisfying our curiosity about the universe. It's about understanding our origins, the possibility of life beyond Earth, and preparing for a future where space exploration and utilization become an integral part of our civilization. OSIRIS-REx's Future Missions As NASA turns the page on the successful OSIRIS-REx mission, a new and equally thrilling chapter begins the OSIRIS Apex mission. This next phase sets its sights on a new target, one that's both intriguing and potentially hazardous, which is the asteroid Apophis. Apophis, measuring approximately 1,100 feet in diameter, is not just another asteroid in the cosmic neighborhood. It's classified as a potentially hazardous asteroid due to its proximity to Earth's orbit. In April 2029, Scientists at NASA predict that Apophis will make a close approach to Earth, offering an unprecedented opportunity for detailed study. This event is a crucial moment for scientists to gather essential data about such near-Earth objects. The primary objective of the OSIRIS Apex mission is to conduct an extensive study of Apophis. The spacecraft, enriched with the experience and success of the Bennu mission, will engage in a detailed observation of the asteroid's physical properties. By mapping its surface, analyzing its composition, and determining its size and shape, scientists hope to glean valuable insights into the nature of Apophis. Furthermore, the OSIRIS Apex mission will provide crucial information on how to navigate and operate around fast-moving near-Earth objects. This is not just an academic exercise. It's an essential step in developing strategies for asteroid deflection or resource utilization in the future. Broader Consequences As we reflect on the groundbreaking discoveries of NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission, it's evident that the insights gained extend far beyond the confines of a single asteroid. The OSIRIS-REx mission, by bringing back samples from Bennu, has provided us with tangible pieces of the early solar system. These samples are more than just rocks and dust. They are primordial fragments that hold the stories of our solar system's birth. By analyzing them, scientists can trace the processes that shape the planets and possibly even seeded life on Earth. This mission has thus opened a window into a time billions of years ago, offering a glimpse into the conditions that prevailed in the early solar system. The significance of the OSIRIS-REx mission transcends the mere collection of asteroid samples. It represents a leap in our capabilities to venture into space, retrieve samples from uncharted worlds, and safely bring them back for study. This mission has set a precedent for future asteroid missions, paving the way for more ambitious endeavors in space exploration and planetary defense. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission on Bennu has not only expanded our understanding of the early solar system, but also highlighted the dynamic and unpredictable nature of space. The unexpected discoveries from the oldest known asteroid underscore the significance of continuous exploration and vigilance in our quest to unravel the universe's secrets. This journey into the cosmos has shifted our perspective revealing a universe where the lines between the known and the unknown are constantly redrawn, reminding us that in the vast expanse of space, discovery is an unending adventure.